Azrael. You know, this film has... First, it was an IFC kind of film, like almost like independent, if you want to say. And then it went on Shudder, and you know Shudder is straight horror streaming platform that, you know, has a lot of good movies, some foreign, some American. So we gave this movie a shot, Azrael. And, you know, what you think of Azrael? What's your opinion on it? And, you know, what you felt by the end of the movie? Yeah. Me going into it, looking at the poster, because I never saw the trailer for it. I, and then reading a little bit on it, it said post-apocalyptic. So I thought it was going to be about angels and demons and stuff like that. But watching it, it was, it was a total 360. It was more like a like a quiet place cult type thing. Yeah. It was like a quiet place cult thing with a bunch of hillbilly <laughs> christians because they wasn't satanic they was christians i guess yeah they, they, they kind of hinted they were like christian we don't know for sure <laughs> but definitely they were like a crazy cult that that doesn't talk because that's the thing folks like like this film there is no talking there's like no, no speaking talking. within no all the people that's trying to kidnap her and, and you know they they kidnap her for a reason don't want to say too much with that they kidnap her for a reason they need her for something but it's like it's not just those people that she's dealing with she's dealing with these crazy ancient evil creatures that you know they don't really say what's the origin to them but they are interesting enough like like i was gonna t like i told you uh this one yeah you you're right quiet place but i would say it's like a quiet place meets the descent with the the cave yeah. and the females yeah, the yeah. friends and stuff and those crazy creatures because these creatures are vicious like you you bleed or you're around them they're tearing you apart so it's like yeah. it's crazy and even you know as far as like her as as what what you know how she acted how she you know went throughout through the film and all that it was like it was okay it was a it was almost like like a silent movie but you could hear everything else the action you could hear the terror you could hear everything even the creatures when they growling and tearing people apart is this movie going to theater i don't know i gotta freaking check to see but if it is going to theater i doubt it's going to theater. it's going on shutter so yeah, no, no, no. Say... This one is, is going to theaters. It's going to selected theaters. All right, so it's select. playing. Yeah, this is playing the, in, in Bay Plaza. It plays it, it's playing in Bay Plaza in Harlem AMC. This is this is a movie theater. All right, so I would say you could give this movie a shot. I mean, uh, it's not you know a rating movie, but I would say it's, it's B worthy as far as you know, like the narrative. You you. You kind of get a, a pleasant ending, but with a twist that we can't say. But you know, it it was it was good enough. It had its its flips and its uh, how will you say the surprises that we wasn't expecting because we thought it was gonna be something yeah. else, and it ended up going another um direction. So yeah, the crazy thing is the creatures to me. I don't know if y'all remember that old '80s movie, The Guardian. They looked it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what you were saying that they were looking like yeah. like like that like all black and, and and like bushy like mud bushy characters like yeah but but they was on some freaking blood they was like worse than zombies because they was just they was just viciously savage and yeah eating everything yeah yeah it was it was it was very gory it was gory it was yeah, but I, her character—I'm not gonna lie—her character was getting me upset. Cause it was like, how many times are you gonna go and get caught up? It, I don't want to tell y'all too much, but yeah, yeah, I will see when y'all when y'all give it a chance, or if y'all don't, just let us know what y'all thought. Yeah, uh, I mean, like the audience will know like in every yeah. horror there's always you know like that character that stumbles over and over again that character that makes the same mistakes or makes dumb mistakes dumb mm -hmm. errors that's gonna get them caught or gonna get them into situation and you don't know, always the same thing over and over in horror mm -hmm. you know it has this cliches if you want to say mm -hmm. exactly i mean if you're looking for a gore fest 
You know, it's kind of like a, a revenge action horror, if you want to say, with a twist. You know, give it a shot. I thought it was B movie worthy. I thought it was okay. So. Yeah, it's one of those stay ass home and watch them at your house. Yeah, Get exactly. some popcorn and sit your ass on your couch and watch that shit at home definitely so folks you let us know if you get to watch Azrael. let us know in the comment section 